Hi, just a quick uh, news update and serious warning for uh, any content creator usually, but in particular, um, YouTube content creators. Uh, unfortunately, Linus Tech Tips, um, the, the huge channel with 15 million subscribers, I know there's huge overlaps between our audience, they have been hit with a hack and all of their channels, they've got multiple channels, they've all been uh, shut down. They were hit with a crypto scam. Um, hack, which has been happening to YouTube channels everywhere. It's just like, it, it's practically a plague. But yeah, all of their channels have been shut down. This is a safety mechanism. Uh, YouTube have done this so that they can, you know, restore, hopefully restore all their videos and content and channel back um, to them. So I'm sure, you know, they're working uh, furiously to try and get it back. But yeah, it is, it is Gonski. It is currently gone. Their uh, website with uh, their float plane thing is still available because that runs on their own servers. This isn't uh, part of the hack. So, you know, here it is in Giz uh, Modo. It just happened like in the last like eight hours or something. And uh, Linus has actually uh, responded. Um, he posted this on uh, float plane, which I don't have access to. To, so I can't see it directly, but this is on their forums regarding the YouTube channel hack. We are on top of it with you, uh, Google's team now. Everything should be locked down and we are getting to the bottom of the attack vector with the hopeful goal of hardening their security around YouTube accounts and preventing this sort of thing from happening to anyone. Security. Well, this has been happening for, what, what years now. So, uh, yeah, but Linus Tech Tips, 15 million subs, huge profile uh, channel. Is it the highest profile channel? That's been hacked and shut down. I don't know. In the in the IT world, I don't don't think there's anyone bigger than Linus Tech Tips, really. I don't know how many, like 50, 100 employees or something that they've got. It, it's absolutely enormous business that they've got. It's not just Linus and a couple of nerds in their house, whatever they uh, were, you know, quite a few years back. It's absolutely enormous enterprise now. And here's where the attack vector, like they're working on the attack vector, I can pretty much, pretty confident I know where the attack vector is. Now, all of us YouTubers, literally daily, we get emails from sponsors, from companies who want to sponsor our channel. And most of them are legit, will be legitimate, but there will be a whole bunch, and I'm sure Linus gets probably dozens of these per day. I, I get probably, you know, at least one a day, like one sponsorship deal a day, and maybe one a week sounds like dodgy like you can just smell it i just got one from the the other day for example and i actually um tweeted this the other day on uh, twitter it was for uh dab uh, what is it dabson uh you know power uh brick things you know they're like the ecoflow battery that i got so i get contacted bombarded with all these companies wanting me to review their batteries systems and dabson they're a legitimate supplier so i get an email from them and it says that uh you know hey we represent dabson and they even include the actual uh the pdf you know uh, advertising material that's they'll typically send you you know about the company and about their products and stuff like that and so i i don't know if this email was legit but the first thing you realize is that okay the email does not come from the dabson domain it doesn't come from the company domain it comes from a gmail account or it comes from a hotmail account or it comes from some other account and we represent you know this company and they might but that's your first sniff that something's not right there okay so what they do is how the scam works is that they uh, claim to represent a company you know it could be nvidia video cards or some fan you know for a company like linus so i've had companies like that approach me even you know these these computer companies approach me and hey would you like to sponsor the ship we can you know we'll be really flexible and you can say whatever you want and you know it'll sound you know and they might even put a figure amount in there or pay you five grand or ten grand or something like that to sponsor our content so any especially small youtubers gonna go oh i finally hit the big leagues i've got a sponsorship deal i've got a company who wants to sponsor me sounds really good and then they will if you start emailing them that you're interested they'll uh, then want to you know for you to download some sort of executable or some other attack vector that then they can infect you know malware like a trojan on your machine and then usually <laughs> your machine that you're using already has you logged into your youtube account so once they've got 
that Trojan software on your machine, they have access to your YouTube account and they've bypassed your two-factor authentication because every YouTuber, everyone should be using two-factor authentication. You know, I physically like like hardware keys, like Yubi keys and things like that. And it's practically impossible really to go through the front door and attack and hack somebody's YouTube account that way. But uh, if you... Uh, go via the back door and install Trojan software on their machine pretending to be a sponsor then uh, bingo they've got you and then once you're bypass the two-factor authentication on YouTube you've already got access to the video account and what they do in this particular case this is what they did to Linus's one and this is very common they rename the channel so it appears to be Tesla like this, here it is right 15 million and then they uploaded um, some Elon Musk videos right bitcoin is back and this is how the scam works they then link to a page where you know or they'll put in the comments or the description of the video a, you know bitcoin just send us bitcoin and we'll double we'll triple the amount of bitcoin and it's just a crypto scam like this so they're not like threatening him like you know or anything like that they simply take over your channel they delete all your videos or they or they will upload new ones and it'll be like Elon Musk, like you're teaming up with Elon Musk, right? And everyone just gets duped into thinking that, you know, look, oh, Linus Tech Tips have teamed up with Elon Musk and they're giving away crypto and, oh, I better get in on it quick. They're like Tesla, like, but this is a Linus Tech Tips' channel, right? So they just pretend it's a standard crypto scam thing. And I saw somebody did actually uh, go through and uh, look at the Bitcoin addresses because the whole thing about blockchain is that it's completely traceable, right? So you can trace it all through. So you can see how much money they've scammed. Apparently, they shut it down so quick that they didn't get much money. But some people were actually duped to send some money over, I believe. But that's how the attack, that's what the attack vector is. I almost guarantee it. And they make so much content. They'd have multiple people, probably at least half a dozen people who whose machines have access to their YouTube account. They have to, just to run their business, right? They have to have access, uh, you know, upload access and a full account access to be able to upload videos to the channel and, and even, even delete videos if they need to. And there's probably multiple machines in the company. There could be dozens of machines in the company that have full account access to the YouTube and YouTube channels, plural, because it's usually under the same login. So once you're in, you pass the two-factor authentication and you've got access to all of the channels. This is how it happens. So I guarantee that, unfortunately, it's just, you know, sheer bombardment with all this stuff and they have so many sponsors. It's their whole business model as, you know, sponsorships and everything else um, is a massive part of their income uh, stream. I'm not sure if it's the major, but it's a massive part. So they'd be dealing with sponsors, at multiple sponsors daily. Sheer time, unfortunately, until, um, you know, somebody got a little bit lazy, I guess, and uh, didn't do their full due diligence on the emails and installed something and their machine happened to have access. So going forward, they'd, they'd probably are going to institute, I'd say, a company policy where they're going to um, like airlock, uh, you know, a, a machine. Like nobody will be answering business emails and have access to the YouTube account on the same physical machine. I don't know if it is possible across networks. I don't think so. Leave it in the comments if you if you know of the actual, you know, Trojan software used to do this. <laughs> Warning, you know, tape around it. You've got to go through, you know, cordon it off. This machine's for business emails and negotiating um, sponsorship details. And these machines over here are specifically for uh, that have access to the YouTube channel. So unfortunately, it's been taken back. I, I'm pretty sure that you know, YouTube will be able to deal with it, but it's obviously not a, you know, a trivial thing to do. At least shut it down so that, you know, no one could get scammed out of their money. But yeah, yeah, um, unfortunately, like, YouTube could do a lot more. I mean, it's still ridiculous that YouTube can delete an account. I've been saying this for donkey's years. They can actually delete your account because you got, you know, flagged too many times. You know, once you're a large enough channel, you know, say silver, you know, 100,000 YouTube silver award or something, you, you, your channel should be absolutely locked down and fully protected, right? It, it should require an act of, well, it was Susan Alphabet, but she's gone now. It should require, an, you know, an, an act of the CEO to personally push the button to, you know, delete all your content or something like that. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, apparently every channel was, uh, every video was actually 
actually deleted before this before they locked it down i'm sure it was only up for like maybe an hour or two if anyone knows leave it in the comments but yeah don't don't fall for this sort of stuff it's um unfortunately it's it's all too common now it's happened to the most high profile channel anyway um yeah content creators <laughs> be safe out there catch you next time